Ooh, I want that. <laughs> okay. Hey guys, my name is Missy, and I'm a full-time reseller, a thrifter, a picker, or better yet, a treasure hunter. I love digging and hunting for treasures in the wild, just searching for that perfect piece. You can find me picking garage shells, thrift shops, flea markets, and yes, even some curbs. So come along on this adventure, and let's go do some picking. Hey guys, it's Missy with Junk To Be Loved and I am back with another picking video for you guys today. I'm back at the bins, like always, yay. Um, I had a couple hours to kill, so I thought I'd come up to the bins. Um, I can't stay up for very long because I gotta get kids today. I gotta get some work done around the house. Um, invoices finished and whatnot. So let's go inside and see what we can find. It's a little cloudy, but it's absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. I'm so excited. And tomorrow's the flea market. All right, let's get a cart and see what we can find. Like I said, I can only stay just a very little bit. Maybe like an hour and a half at the most. Let's go see what we can find. All right, I always check out the glass first, so let's check out the glass. See if there's any treasures in here. I don't think so, but we will see. Ooh, that's pretty. I don't know if anybody would want that or not really pretty it doesn't weigh a whole lot it's glass we'll think about it and see i'll think about that i'm being really really picky because the flea market is tomorrow so i don't want to really spend a whole lot wine and cheese but we'll see if there's anything in here i like those glasses There's a couple more of them over here, but I'm not going to get them. I'll leave them for somebody else. Pioneer woman. That's super heavy. That's cast iron. And that's really pretty. I'll take that. I will take that. That's pretty. And it's very lightweight. It's a blown glass ornament. Let's keep looking, keep looking. Ooh, I like that. But it's ooh, but it's heavy. It's a really pretty decorative mirror. Maybe I'll see if, if I can get it for cheaper since it's so heavy. I'll think about it and see. All right, on to the hard goods. Well, I mean, I think it's newer. It's kind of in a little bit of rough shape. I'm, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. I'm not gonna worry about it. I don't wanna really ship it anyway. All right, onto the hard goods. All right. There's the Ozarks. I'm being super picky. I know a lot of you might yell at me about some of the things that I leave behind today. <laughs> but like I said, the flea market is tomorrow. So, I cannot wait for the flea market. I'm so excited. I should get bags. Because actually come in handy. But we don't need any. Oh my goodness, lots 
a month of gift bags. Oh, that's cute. It's adorbs, but I'm not getting Halloween stuff unless it's super, super vintage. Or cute like this, but he's broken, so I'm not going to get him. See how he's missing his switch right there? His on and off switch, or else I'd get him. He's adorable. He's 1991 Trend Masters. Cute, but he's broken, so he has to stay behind. Look at this cute little angel baby that I just found laying in the hard goods. She's a bell. I normally don't pick up bells, but she is so sweet and I don't want her to get broken. Look at her face. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna rescue her and take her home. My mom likes angels, so. can go in a Christmas grab bag. That's a cute um, ball brush tree in good condition. A little red one. Oh, here's more. There's a bunch of little ones. A bunch of them. I'm probably gonna grab all these. This Christmas is coming soon, and these are so cute to put in little displays and make with the symbolages and stuff like that. And they don't hardly weigh anything at all. Cool. Here's more. Those are perfect. Perfect. Perfect to make a sim lash with, like, like the perfect size. Oh, I missed one. I like the colors of them too. Taking away old things. We got here right at the right time. Bye bye, old things. Oh, that is scary. They had to stop what they were doing and run outside because a lady came in and said her husband is having a stroke to call 911. So everybody's like at a standstill right now. That's scary. I hope everybody's okay. Okay, guys, we are back to business. They are bringing out the new bins. I think the gentleman is going to be okay, they said. Thank goodness. We are waiting for one more bin. Oh, the ambulance just got here. 
Um, we are waiting for this last bin and they will let us go. Say go. There's so many people crowded in here. <laughs> so many people today. Screwed off. Little Mickey cards. Those will go into a treasure bag. some really cool things. I cannot wait to show you some of the things that I found in here. It is a whole bag full of treasures. And now, now they're bringing out glass bins. Oh my goodness, yes! Ooh, I want that. <laughs> okay, I have that. Thank you, yes! <laughs> yes! Yes! You guys, I just got some really good stuff out of the glass bins. I got a McCoy, a McCoy planter, um, this beautiful, beautiful Empoli um, glass piece. Um, yeah, I got some really fun things. I'm super excited. And then look at what I just found right here. I know I said I wasn't gonna get any more Halloween, but I cannot leave her behind. I love her and she doesn't weigh very much. So she's going in my cart. Can't stay for much longer, but I'm getting some good stuff while I'm here. I'm getting good things. I found a little tiny prayer, miniature prayer rug. There's a little vintage photo album. A Smurf. Good day. I'm not complaining. Nope. No siri Bob. Disney pins going in the treasure bag. I like find in different little things for treasure bags. She's mini, but she's new. I mean, sometimes I put newer things in. Oh, that almost poked me. Sometimes I put newer things in treasure bags, but not very often. Ooh, I want to play the guitar. <laughs> Birthday girl. A shopping cart. Oh, this is heavy. That's too heavy for me to lift. Oh, gotta go. Some new bins. All right, this is the last bin. Are you gonna say go? Maybe, maybe not. Nobody said go. Oh, I love in the new bin. 
ones always because they're so full. I'll stick those in there. I don't know if anybody would want vintage bobby pins or not. I don't know. Yes, I see the dots. I'm not going to get any more dots until I get rid of the ones that I have first. Let's move on here. Tupperware salt and pepper shaker. My beans get crazy, crazy in there. They're always full. Mickey. But I'm being picky, I told you. Oh, it was like a whole collection. Maybe I'll get the like little figurines, maybe. Stick them in a treasure bag. Maybe I'll do that. And I won't feel as bad leaving the vintage plushie behind. You guys see what I see? I bet this glows. Let's get the black light out. All right, here we go. And it does. It glows so beautifully. So I will be taking that home with me. Yes, I can't believe it's not broken and it's in the hard goods. The old hard goods at that. Cool, I'm super excited. Look what I just found. Yay, I was missing this exact piece out of the nativity set that I got, the Christmas nativity. And I knew I would find it if I was just hopeful and patient, and I did. Yes. I love these chain purses. I really do, but this one's a new one and it's ripped at the side. Yeah. It's not Whiting and Davis, unfortunately. That's the ones that you want to look out for, the vintage ones with the labels that say Whiting and Davis. Those are good ones. That's a good movie. I always say that, I know. I love movies. Another good movie. All right, they are taking away old bins again. This is gonna be my last no. row because I gotta go home and get some work done, so. All right, we're waiting for one more bin and then I'm gonna grab that snag basket. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you know the rules, go ahead. Yes, isn't that pretty? <laughs> that jump to be loved. Oh, awesome! Oh, it's the real squirrel. I've heard of you before. Awesome! Look at this. Look at this, you guys. Scary. It's busy, busy, busy. Busy, busy. 
Busy. <laughs> Busy in here. Okay. There we go. I got the basket. Now what else can I find in here? Actually, I want to see what that is right there. I'm going to check him out. Yes. See if he works. He's adorable. I'm just bouncing in and out because it's so busy. Okay, guys, I've had enough for the day. I'm ready to check out and go get some lunch. So let's go see what we weigh. Okay, guys, I had 17 pounds, so my total is $30.43. So let's get into the haul. Okay, guys, we made it back from the Goodwill bins, and I ended up spending a total of $31. I rounded up. I usually do round up. Um, but I don't think I did too bad for what I got. So let's get into the haul so I can show you guys everything I got. Um, this is the first thing I picked up was all these bottle brush, um, Christmas trees. I love the colors. I think they look really cute in assemblages and yeah, so three different colors. Really cute. Um, I got a McCoy, um, planter absolutely love this i think it's so cute it still has a sticker on it this is planter but it is mccoy i love the color the shape it's very very pretty needs a little bit of cleaning but no chips or cracks really good condition and i got another mccoy a smiley face planter absolutely love it can you believe this is from the bins you guys super exciting no chips or cracks on that one I picked up this blown glass ornament. It's like a thin one, but it's so pretty. It's all blown glass. You know, I love my glass. And then I picked up this beautiful vase. It's just one vase. It still has part of its original sticker on the bottom of it. So I'm not for sure the maker, but I really love the lines. It's a really cute vase. It reminds me of like those blocks the, that they would put in your house in like the 70s and 80s. You know what I'm talking about? Maybe they were before then. I don't know. And then I got another blown glass ornament. It's a heart. It's a green heart. Really like that one. I got this really cute angel. I rescued her out of the hard goods. She's really pretty. No chips or cracks on her. This beautiful glass um, elephant. It's like a glass tile. So I thought that was really pretty. It's all glass. And then, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. My favorite, favorite thing I found today is this. Can you believe this made it to the Goodwill bins? I can't. I absolutely love it. It is in pulley. Um, so beautiful. No chips or cracks. And yeah, that was my best find today, I think. I think so. And then, okay, so I got some stuff for a treasure bag. Let me put this stuff away here really quickly. I got some stuff for a treasure bag, which I don't know if all of it's going to go into a treasure bag or not, but I got that really cute pin cushion. Um... A Hello Kitty pin. This reminds me of my childhood because we always had these pins with the different colors. Um, a vintage Tamagotchi. I had this when I was a kid, and this one is actually from 1997. This one's from my day. That's pretty cool. Um, no, honey, I'm doing a haul real quickly. And then I got this really metal, cute little metal globe container. I forgot to mention that I did pick up this beautiful federal glass. You've seen it in the video. Cool. A Super Bowl. A California Raisin. There's some dice. I mean, there's a ton of stuff in here. You guys, I'm not going to be able to go through it all. Um, 
but a bunch of these different advertising bobby pins. And then these goodie ones. I know sometimes the goodie brand can sell for decent money. Um, little McDonald's character. He's vintage. This Lucite piece. I don't know what it is, but I thought it was pretty cool. Um, a coin purse, a beaded coin purse. So much stuff in here, you guys. Like, so much stuff. Cabbage Patch, a red dice. There's tons and tons of little trinkets and treasures in here. I think this says Bakelite Necklace. Pretty sure that's what that says, but I could be wrong. Um, this is super, super cool. This is one of my favorite things. So it's, I found it like this, see? And then you open it up and it's a picture frame. Isn't that the coolest thing? It's metal. It's like a metal fold-up picture frame. That's what, another one of my favorite things that I found. And, I mean, if I went through every single thing in this treasure bag, we would be here forever. But there's so many things. There's this whole little stones. Um, new Mickey Mouse cards. Frog thing. Some really cute patches. Um really cute ones in there cute little wooden duck picture holder type thing most of this stuff in the bottom of this is like different random pieces of like jewelry and craft and stuff like that like that's a pin there's brooches and pins in here um i'm sure there's stuff that i wanted to show you that i'm probably missing this little cute vintage keychain from a hair salon um, there is a pin in here that's marked. See, there's a bunch of like cufflings and earrings and let me see if I can find that pin in here that's marked somewhere. And there's like old coins, like old pendant type things. Let's see, I don't know. There's all kinds of stuff in here. Here, nope, that's not it. Hmm. Oh, here it is. Here it is. This one's marked on the inside. So I'm going to have to put that aside with what's in here. Because what's in here, I, I don't know if it's real or not. I am praying, praying that it's real. Let me put this stuff back in here. Treasure bag. I'm praying that it's real because it is stamped Monet. So there was this, they brought out new bins and there was this, a whole bunch of people at this bin digging at the bottom of it. And I'm like, Hmm, what's in there? So I waited patiently and then I finally got in there and there was a bunch of stuff left behind. Like I showed you, like this is an older bracelet, an older one. Um, but I opened up this and I'm like, no way. This one is stamped Monet. It is stamped right here, Monet. So I don't know. I don't know if it's real or not. I'm going to have to find out, but that is super exciting. There was a bunch of different little random pieces in there, um, little pendants and pins and stuff like that. So that was pretty cool. Then I was able to find the lamb, yay, or the sheep, whatever it is, um, to go with the Little People Christmas set that it was missing out of. I found this really cool Art Deco metal sleigh. I thought a vintage Santa would look really cute sitting on that. Um, another one of these. <laughs> He's funny. Um, a Jack Skeleton keychain. I thought he was cute. Um, this little... Um, Candy container snow boot that's going to go into a Christmas treasure bag. Um, I got this really fun powder dish. It's really pretty. I like the design on that. 
This is gonna go into a linen bag. I just thought it was so cute. Look at her earrings. <laughs> Absolutely adorbs. That's gonna go. I got this cute little witch. Witchy poo poo figurine. This I thought was cool. It's a mini prayer rug. It's one of those Persian rugs, but it's a small one. It's like a mini, a miniature. Isn't that cool? I thought that was cool. But I'm, I'm amused by the littlest things. Then Alex, again, once again, came to the rescue and found me a whole stack of vintage hankies. There's so many in here. Tons and tons of hankies. I'm excited about those. We know that Missy loves, loves, loves her hankies. <laughs> Ooh, careful, Missy. So I picked up those. Then she also found me two vintage towels. Two vintage hand towels. So there's that one and then this one. And they're both still in really good condition. I found a lap quilt, a vintage lap quilt. I love the colors. It's so much fun. Kitschy. <laughs> then I got this guy. Oh my goodness, and he works. right and he is vintage he is dandy i think he's probably from the 90s i would say 80s or 90s but he's adorable and i love him i love his face look at his eyes oh cute and then the last thing that i got was the vintage egg basket i love it love 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 it Oh, when I found this vintage egg basket, I meant um, the rural squirrel. So it was very nice to meet you today if you watch my videos. Hi, the rural squirrel. I didn't catch your real name. Um, but yeah, she also wanted this too. <laughs> but I thought it was neat how it has the little plaque on it. So that is cool. That is my haul, guys. Like I said, I ended up spending $31 on all that stuff. I don't think I did too bad with the Empoli, the McCoy, and then the Monet. Um, what do you guys think? Comment below and let me know what your favorite thing was that I found this time out of the Goodwill bins. And as always, if there's anything that you guys are ever interested in, you can always send me an email. My email is junktobeloved at gmail.com, all lowercase letters, no spaces. The link is also in the description below as well too. Um, when you send me that email, Wrong again. I'm tired. It's getting late. Um, but I can let you know if it will be available in a live sale or if I will sell it outright. Most everything that you see me pick up will be available in my live sales, which I host right here on my YouTube channel every Sunday evening at 6 p.m. Central Time. So if you don't want to miss stuff like this for sale, make sure you go subscribe and hit that bell button. That way you're notified every time I go live and when I post new stuff, new videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking. Bye, guys.